Okay, so Coach Hahn, we've got the Wadsworth Grizzlies here at the OAC Football Championship. First things first, I was just talking to one of the Liberty coaches from Olentangy and, uh, uh, you know, Coach Coach Kuhn, and he was, uh, his son's on the team. Your son's on the team. Correct. How do you separate dad from coach, coach from dad? You know, it's tough. Um, this is actually my second go around with my youngest now. Um, so it, it, it can be tough. It can be challenging. Um, you know, it's, it's also rewarding. It really is. It, it's it's tough. Yeah, you know, sometimes you use him as the the outlet sometimes for frustrations and things. But at the same time, he handles it real well, um, and it's it, it's a it's a blessing. It really is. Okay, so as far as facilities go, Wadsworth has one of the nicest high schools I've ever seen. You just had that partnership with the hospital, right? You guys built like a, a YMC that's a, a YMCA is attached to the high school, right? Yeah, it is. It's it insane. Yeah, it's really it nice. Is. It is. I yeah. pulled up to it and I'm like, this isn't the Wadsworth I remember five years ago right, or whatever. Right. It they was got, crazy, right? Got the field house out back now. And Wild, the, the right? And you know, field. talking to Liberty, they know facilities, right? Okay. They got some of the best facilities in the country as well. What is it like coming to a facility like the Sports Force? This for is fantastic. I've been up here before for uh, daughter's soccer, and this is the first time we played football up here. Um, we actually came to the championships three years ago, and we played over at the old Sandusky Stadium. This is fantastic. I mean, top-notch. The kids love it. Uh, fields are great. Can't beat it. All right. When you guys look at winning a championship, you know, you're, you're a dad, you're a coach. What do you want the kids to get out of coming here, and, and what do you want them to get out of, of playing in a championship environment? You know, this year especially, this is the sixth grade year, last year of youth are going on to middle school next year. We wanted to give them one last reward, one last adventure. Um, they're coming together as a team classmates, going to be playing together for the middle school next year. And as much as anything, we wanted them to come up here, um, just that last bonding experience and, and really be a reward for them for the, all the work they put in over the years. All right, so my neighbor, he's from Wadsworth. I had a roommate from Wadsworth, and literally everybody I ever talked to from Wadsworth, I know Clay Wanger, yeah. he's your head varsity yep. wrestling coach. coach G. I never met a like a like a person I don't like from Wadsworth. Why is everybody so likable, <laughs> so friendly, and it's such a tight knit community? Well, you know, I, you just mentioned that. That's exactly what it is. A lot of the people that are still uh, involved with the youth sports are guys that went to school there. Um, we played there, we coached there, we're raising kids there, and that close knit. I mean, you don't find that in all these towns. Still, you know, hanging out with some of the guys that I went to school with, and we're raising our kids together. So you're right about that close knit, that close knit family. And Coach just G. Your, yeah, Coach, Coach G. G. Exactly. He tells it how it is. Right? He always has, right? <laughs> yeah, you know? and, and they just, you know, they've always had just really nails, guys, just tough guys yep. right like yep. bobby jones bobby jones right yeah, you look at a guy like that he comes back gets back to the community Correct. plays a little nfl football yep. right mm -hmm. stud like that two-time state champ in wrestling yep. and i think that's like that's like the guy who kind of started it right you know he's your first state champ one of your first state champs in wrestling and uh yeah i think it says a lot about the community um goals for team here what do you want the, the what's what's the goals here obviously, well, I mean, to win. obviously yeah obviously we came here you know to win but um even bigger than that it is is the kids we want them to to uh again the reward part of it and being able to bond up here and play the game the right way and see you know it the, I don't want to say it's not, it's not pressure for them. It, it's more the experience, being able to come up here and play these teams from around the state. I mean, normally we're used to playing teams in our league, our area, but to come up here and see different styles of football is great. Um, and like I said, just being able to have that that experience of playing other towns, other forums, I mean, this is great for them. It's fantastic. All we right, appreciate the OAC being able to put this on. Yeah, OAC for top notch, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And, you know, like as far as you know, they run like the best – wrestling championship yeah we've got quite a few right and you got a you know it's mm -hmm. wadsworth come on right right exactly, right yeah. you were the first team to you know first public school to knock off saint ed's in, in mm -hmm. the big division right in 2009 yep. Yep. so it's, it's pretty incredible but if you look at the wrestling championship they're not far off with their football championship as they're, far as a first class event. absolutely you know uh, coach todd's been there for a few years now and it's really um the program is invigorating uh the numbers are up uh, you can see by the results our youth kids are buying in the high school kids it, it's a lot like the wrestling program that you know, it's coming back around full circle. The high school kids come down, they give back to the youth program, and it's just the circle's complete. It's They're doing a great job. You had a Mr. Ohio in football, Joe, one the basketball player, one the track guy. He was a wrestler. He's right. a state placer in wrestling. That's, exactly that's right. rare, man. Yeah. That's rare. Yeah. That's Normally, it's a guy who's a basketball player. Yeah, that's true. A, a, a pure athlete, right? right? Yep. You just don't have that much. That's right. That's right? right? That's yeah. crazy, right? Right now, you're watching uh, Dominic Leparo out there doing the same, you know, same type of thing. Leading yeah. the team, wrestler. We've got quite a few. And you're still alive in the the high school playoffs. Yeah. Who's next? 
Uh, Avon Lake. Avon Lake. That'd be a good one. They will. Yeah. Are they the two? They are. And you're the three. Correct. All right. Yep. All right, coach. I know you guys got one to coach up here. You got anything else for me? No, just again, I appreciate it. Um, give a little shout out to uh, the people who made it possible for us. Uh, Wadsworth Eagles gave us a nice donation, helped us uh, with the registration fee and, and with the kids. Um, we also had Kia Bedford sponsor. We've got brand new jerseys out here for the kids and, uh, you know, just happy to be here. All right, coach. Good luck to you guys. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you.